Yeah. Um, can't sleep. It's about 2 a.m. I, like, just barely got on a decent schedule falling asleep last night at, like, 1. I woke up at 9 this morning. And, uh, and I, <laughs> I fell asleep at, like, 11 p.m., and then I just woke up at, like, 1. Now it's, like, 2, and I, I don't have a, I don't have a vlog yet for Sunday. What's oh, this, four days? I'm kind of on a roll. We'll see what happens. What are you guys' thoughts on uh, setting goals? Do you always stick to your goals? Um, what are some goals that you have right now that you, you're working on? Um, to that time of year again where you kind of reevaluate your life and what you want to achieve for the year. Um, <laughs> this year was a little rough. It was all right. Um, I mean, as far as the growth of the channel, no, it was bad. It was awful, but I certainly learned a lot about myself. Um, I learned that Pranks will always be there, but they, um, they, they burn me out really easily, so at the same time they're not always there. Um, I learned to not act so impulsively. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I learned a lot about health this year. I read a lot of health books this year and learned a lot about like coconut oil and apple cider vinegar and intermittent fasting and cold showers. And I did a lot of exercising this year. I went to the gym a lot. Well, up until like September. And, uh, I learned a lot about, uh, exercise and health and stuff. I, uh, I started taking, uh, testosterone supplements for a second. Well, I still do. And, uh, I dev I noticed a huge difference. Like, I think I've low testosterone levels, and there's a lot of things that contribute to that, like vitamin deficiencies, uh, zinc, magnesium, vitamin D, um, vitamin C, and so, yeah, and getting enough healthy fats and avocados and <laughs> and le lecithin, which is in eggs. Green. Oh yeah, I learned a really easy way to get all your nutrients is with smoothies. Just get a NutriBullet, stuff a whole bunch of spinach, and I don't. There's something about kale that I think I'm allergic to kale or something. I always get a headache when I eat kale. Does anyone else? I don't know, it's like I fucking hate kale. Um, a whole bunch of spinach, a banana, blueberries. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I said I wasn't on any diets. Well yeah, I'm not really on any diets, but I remember I said like I don't care anymore, like in a few vlogs back, like at McDonald's, but... Oh yeah, I learned that I'm very uh, 
my moods are very volatile from living with roommates and they've told this to me and they confirmed this to me like I am I'm kind of one person one day and then another person the next living with roommates was a lot of fun uh, I, I hadn't lived with roommates in a few years before that Levi and Lacey and Chad just a happy little family out here in the valley um I did, I, I think I, this year, I made a lot of progress with the interviews. Like, I stuck to them for, like, a good four or five months and kind of got, like, the first 20 or 30 out of the way, you know, and I feel like I'm getting better at those, so that's good. And that's, like, something I can do until I'm, like, 80, you know, it's not like a... It's not like a forcing myself to, you know, uh, prank people. And, um, forcing myself into this juvenile state of mind, which is cool sometimes, but it's, it gets harder as I get older. <laughs> um... Someone Snapchatted me. Sometimes I'll get these just random nasty, I don't know, Snapchat. Like, I'll snap something and then someone comments or snaps me back and is like, get a job. And I, you know, normally you ignore it, but I responded, K. K or just like not responding at all are usually like the best options for haters, you know, resp responding to haters, responding to haters. And then he responded like, would you have responded if I said something nice? And I, yeah, I respond to ni like nice people all the time. I say, thanks, man, with like the fucking pray emoji. <laughs> or if they say something kind of unique, like... Don't let Bonnie do that or something. I'll be like, okay. Or, I don't know. <laughs> His vlog sucks. Um, I got an electric skateboard. You see that? Genesis. Oh, yeah. I'm in this room because there's an Airbnb coming tomorrow. And I just cleaned it. And I don't want to touch it. So, But I got an electric skateboard at Genesis. That's the company, Genesis Skateboards. And it was great for the first month. And I was going to the grocery store and doing all my errands with it. Just like Casey Neistat. Surprised I haven't like vlogged on it yet. But no, just like a week ago, it's like I'll be going full speed at 20 miles per hour. And then it just like halts on the brakes and, I, and it, it, it throws me off. And it, I hurt my... It doesn't look that bad, but I hurt my my arm and got scraped up really bad and it hurt a lot and it was kind of, it was like, it was so random and it, it was such a liability. I couldn't, like I couldn't go home, I had to carry it home because I couldn't do it anymore and uh, I've tried to recharge the battery and all this stuff and it keeps doing that. I don't know why, it just randomly like halts as I'm going full speed, it's like so dangerous. So I emailed them, like asking for a refund and we'll see what happens. Purple Beds, <laughs> man these Utah companies, uh, Purple Mattresses, they, uh, they actually, they were great with the refund. That was really simple, so I don't have any complaints, I just, the mattress wasn't for me, my sister, 
kind of joked like she said she probably would have loved it because i i just thought it was way too squishy and soft i i really like firm beds i used to sleep on the the floor in high school because i i liked how firm it was i don't know but yeah i think mattresses some are, just aren't made for all people you know oh hell yeah 10 minutes It's every day, bro. Um, I've been writing uh, some mixtapes. Oh yeah, I've been uh, Fiverr. You guys heard of Fiverr? You can like pay freelancers to pretty much do anything for you. I ordered some beats, custom beats from people that I've been been writing lyrics down to and. Uh, I had some t-shirt designs, shoploft.com will be up soon enough, like in a week or two. Um, yeah, Fiverr, you can like, I love it. They didn't pay me to say that, I just, I didn't know about it until like a month ago and it's great. I had the, I had my Roast Myself track mix and mastered on there for like five dollars. Even though it's, we like made it in Logic and then we sent the file to just as the finishing touch, mixing and mastering. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, tell me some of your goals. Bye.